Hello beautiful people and welcome to a new PD tutorial. In this video we're going to learn how to record the audio that we're creating into our patches on the art drive. So let's say that we have a very simple patch that creates glitchy sounds. So we'll create a glitch generator and I will create also a master volume control and also I will create the DAC object. And by the way, these objects come from a project of mine that is called the Moose Electron Studio. And it basically is a collection of patches that are instruments that you can use for your music creation. And I will leave you the link in the description. You can download it for free from the link provided below. But if you want to have all of the new modules, updates, upgrades, and bug fixes, and new documentation, you can support me on Patreon because I will make only one release per year in December. The release is free, but if you want to have early access to all the things that I am developing during the year, you can support me on Patreon and you can get early access to all the things that I am doing during the year. Okay, so to record an audio file to disk, we use the writesf object. So let's create a new object, write into it writesf tilde, and we can use a creation argument to specify how many channels we want to record inside the file that we're creating. So if we want to create a mono audio file, we can write one or we can write no argument at all. If you want to record a stereo audio file, we can write two as creation argument. If you want to record, for example, 5.1 surround audio file, we can write into the writesf creation argument 6 because a surround file, 5.1 surround file has 6 channels. The same thing goes for a 7.1 surround channel. Then again, we write 8 as creation argument and so on. Okay, so let's write 2 because we want to create a serial file and we can connect the outlets of the master volume object into the 2 inlet for the RileSF2 object. Now again, we have to use specific commands. So we use message boxes to give the writesf object the proper commands and we create a new message box. We type open, which is the command that we have to use to actually open a position into the art drive. And we can write the name of the file we want to record. So for instance, performance1.wave. Now don't forget to write also the file extension. So don't forget to write point wave. So my advice is to save the patch in a specific folder and when you will record the audio file, it will be recorded in the same folder where the patch lies. So now we can create two other message boxes. In the first one, we'll write start and in the second one, we will type in it stop. And of course, we have to connect the outlet of the message boxes into the left inlet of the right SF object. The sequence of commands is of course, first, open because we have to open the position and then we can start recording a audio file. So we can click on start and we can make a little performance. And when we have done, we can click on stop and the file will be saved and closed on the art drive. Pay attention here because if you click again on the open message without changing the name of the file, it will be replaced with a new file and you will lose the performance that you have recorded. So please pay attention because otherwise you're gonna end up with deleting performances that you might eventually like and save for a later work. Now with the open message, you can use flags. Now flags are arguments that will specify the way that the open message will work. So for instance, by default, the audio file will be recorded with 16 bit of depth, but if you want to record a 24 bit audio file, you can specify it. So you can write open, and then you can write the bytes flag with the three number that specify that you're going to use 24 bit depth. If you write bytes 4, you're going to record a 32-bit floating point sound file. You can also specify the sample rate and you can use the rate flag followed by the sample rate that you want to use. So for instance, if you want to create 48 kHz, you will write rate and then 48,000. 
If you want to have more information, you can use the help file, which is something that I strongly recommend for every new object that you start to discover because help files are filled with very useful information. So you can right click on the object and you can click help file. And here you have all of the information related to the specific object. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done it, please subscribe to my channel and share my videos with the community. And I'll see you on the next tutorial. Ciao.